faithful. Yes. Those outside the covenant, the only thing they got going for them is God's timetable when he will come with judgment. And the prayer of the faithful church that prays even sometimes you don't even know that you're praying for those way out in the world. It's all in weakness, wickedness and darkness. You're praying for them. We have to still pray for the world that they will be converted and come into righteousness. But we've got to understand that because you see certain things you don't understand, leave it alone. I remember something. I'm closing. Something that shook me up. I was a young minister. Y'all hear me close. Amen. Some of y'all heard the testimony. Amen. Pastor put me over the outreach hospital. And that's tough work. Going to different saints and the relatives, praying from the hospital. I found out that none of the elders wanted to go. And just a few, two really, not no few, two. Amen. I could get to go with me. And I went to pray for this sister, 27 years old, with four children. Y'all yes. hear me close. Died of cancer. And she told me, she said, Elder Walker, I want you to pray for me and tell God for me. I don't mind going home. I'm ready. But I got four babies. All right. I prayed for that sister. Not prayed all I knew how. A few days later, that sister died. And it knocked me back so much, I went to the pastor's house. He's on the back porch. Peeling an apple and eating. He's like the pure fresh fruits and eating. Amen. And I said, Pastor. I said, I'm, I'm upset. And I started crying. He said, what's the matter with you? So what's wrong with you? Didn't you say God called you to be a preacher? What's wrong with you? And when I finally got a hold of myself, I said, well, I prayed for sister so-and-so. And we just had a funeral a few days ago. He said, yes. He said, well, I said, well, Pastor, I, I prayed all I know how. He said, well, that's good. And Pastor, she was saved. He said, yes. I said, Pastor, she had four little children. He said, yes. I said, well, what happened? He said, are you God? And it shook me up. I said, I had to step back. He said, you're not God. Are you questioning God's judgment? If God called her home, she's home. And don't worry about it. As long as you pray for her. Hallelujah. That's in God's court. Yes. That's in God's hand. Yes. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to let you know something. Yes. You can't always figure out how come. But don't let it shake your faith. Yes. Don't let it turn you around. Yes. Don't let it make you think that what we should have inquire about God. God said, don't inquire about me. Yes. Don't question me. Yes. Don't question my validity. Don't question what I do. Right. I'll do whatever I want to do. And can't nobody stop it. But I'll never do something that's wrong to the faithful. Amen. Now, why he called her home, I don't worry about it, but I rejoice. Because I know she's in better shape than some of us. Amen. I don't know who's going to backslide tomorrow. Amen. But I know she's in glory. Amen. Hallelujah. And when she went to glory, God took Angel and said, Now you go and watch over that child. Angel, you come in. You go watch over that child. Of mine. Thank you, Jesus. Don't worry about it. So I'm saying when different situations come that you do not understand, don't worry about it. And don't worry about that incident in the apartment complex. Too much oil on them kids. I said too much oil on them kids. You can show it and point it and do whatever you want to do. But God ain't going to never let that happen. You hear what I'm telling you. I said hear what I'm telling you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if y'all get together and that place is too raunchy, yes, I want y'all to get together. Together. The families that are out there, it's yeah. like families. Find out where y'all gonna go. I would recommend you go where Elder Ricky's staying. But when y'all go, get a timetable. So that we can get a moving van and move everybody the same day. But until then, obey me. Follow my instructions. Bring your children here. And don't worry about it because they're going to be taken care of. Amen. If y'all didn't fix an old Simon, 
don't worry. Somebody going to see that they have something to eat Amen. during the day. Y'all hear me? Amen. Missionary Samaya, Vance Evans. Y'all hear me? Yes. Praise God. They're our babies. Amen. They're our children. But we're going to take care of them because really they belong to God. Amen. So don't worry about this incident. The Lord going to take care of that. And don't worry about no other incident. Right. God's going to take care of that. Yes. We gonna, what did y'all say? Work it out. Give it over to the Lord. Yes. And you what? Work it out. Work it out. You can't work it out if you don't give it to him. Yes. But when you give it over to him, you feel a burden lift off your soul. Hallelujah. You feel something. You feel loose. Because yes. you didn't give it over to him. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he did what? He worked it out. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank God. I thank God for this Bible class tonight. I want everybody to be encouraged. And I say to those viewing by way of internet, now should you have any questions, write me. The email address at the bottom of the screen. And also our Holy Convocation, July the 4th, 5th, and 6th. 121 Old Converse Road, Spartanburg. South Carolina. Yes. Amen. Look forward to seeing you there. Amen. Amen. And again, we do say, if you can't find a holiness church, those of you in the Fairfax, Virginia area, find Pastor Graham's church. Amen. And the West Virginia, Beckley, West Virginia, find Ella Willis's church. True Light uh, Church of West Virginia, Beckley, West Virginia. Yes. Amen. And if you in the Spartanburg area, True Light Pentecostal Church, at the full stated address, 121 Old Converse Road in Spartanburg. Amen. And if you can't find any of these, Hallelujah. turn on your internet yes. and stay at home. Yes. Stay at home. Don't put your foot.